The Varsity College Marine Surf Ski Series is proudly presented by Varsity College, Billy the Bums, Global Trader and Hunter. Started in the early 90s, the Varsity College Marine Surf Ski Series kicked off once again in January 2011 at the famous Billy the Bums in Durban with the series registration and a chance for old friends to catch up. We're at uh, Billy the Bums for the registration evening for the Varsity College Marine Surf Ski Series. The first race of the series, the Global Trader Surf Ski Challenge, is on tomorrow evening at half past five at Addington Beach. The series consists of 10 races through the Durban summer. It's the best place in the world to paddle. The 2011 season held a lot of promise with some new blood in the game putting their hands up as contenders as well as the series attracting some of the old dogs of the sea. Well, I've been paddling the Varsity College Marine Surf Ski Series for, well, I can't even remember that far back and it gets better and better and it gets more and more fun every year. That's why we are. Yeah, we've just finished registration here at uh, Billy the Bums for the Varsity College Marine Surf Ski Series. Uh, first race, I think, hosted by a global trader. Um, tomorrow's going to be a good race. Maddie, Maddie Bowman's going to be there. Um, Hank McGregor, it's going to be a full house. So, yeah, looking forward to, give it a, to giving both of them a good go tomorrow. Race one in the 10 race series saw record numbers at the new Marine Surf Lifesaving Club for the Global Trader Surf Ski Challenge. The series caters for all levels of paddlers in both men's and women's divisions in singles and doubles, while beginners are able to mix it up on a short course 4 km version of the race, while the big guns go head to head on the long course, an 8 km race. Races are held every Friday night and are the litmus test for the beginner of the season for the paddlers and race one attracted all the big names in the sport. Last year's series winner Matt Bowman was clearly set on defending his crown but he was not going to have it all his own way, having to put up with some stiff competition from Hank McGregor from race one. Both Bowman and McGregor are seasoned world tour campaigners and no strangers to stiff competition at the front, using this series as a good pre-season preparation.
So race one was shaping up to be a bit of an epic struggle with three paddlers in the mix, Grant van der Valt, Matt Bowman and Hank McGregor, all looking to lead the ratings from the get-go. First race of the, of the Marine Series and um, oh, I had a good one, I had a good start and um, had my nose in front from the word go and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, led to the first can and then Matthew was with me just uh, when we turned for the downwind leg and I managed to open a gap and um, yeah, I just kept opening it until the end so felt good, felt strong and I'm uh, feeling fit uh, early in the season. Guys like Bowman and uh... McGregor, we're lucky. They got a good uh, uh, break on the way out, and both of them caught away from the back. So they settled the third. <laughs> you know, the sort of level you you make one or two little tiny mistakes, even if you catch up and it looks like you've recovered, you haven't really, because the energy you've expended comes back to bite you at some stage. And it was a good race. You know, he was methodical, he was calculated, he was cool, and uh, gave me a little hiding today. But uh, I'll be back in two weeks. We'll see what happens then. How's it guys? We are uh, down here at uh, the new Marine Sersky Clubhouse. Uh, very, very smart for race number two in the Marine Sersky series, sponsored by Billy the Bums. As you can see behind me, the, uh, the conditions are almost perfect. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to a very good race. It's been a very good turnout. The sea's nice, lots of people. That's good fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. Friday evenings, this is a must, eh? Anyway, then. Great weather in the weekend. I hope you got a night light because it's the only way you're going to see me at the end of this thing. Unbelievable series and nice for everyone that's come aboard to help out and make it happen. It really is. It's like it's good for us to unwind, get those beers ready for the after, for the after party. <laughs> Looking forward to Hansa. <laughs> no wine. <laughs> Race two and very flat conditions greeted the paddlers, looking to make it hard work on the water for everybody. The doubles race was shaping up as a good one, with Barry Learn and Stembiso Mbata looking good after race one, but coming under some strong pressure from the team of Jeffrey Smith and Warren Jacobs. With a few of the singles away on international duty, it was a chance for some of the new kids on the block to make their intentions known. Mark Mulder having a solid performance, taking the second race and levelling up the series with Hank McGregor. The doubles this time though would belong to Jeffrey Smith and Warren Jacobs, having a strong showing in the flat waters on race two. Oh, it's great to be out on a Friday evening. Um, Three, awesome four, conditions. We've got a slight west blowing, um, and just really smooth, achievable for conditions for everyone for this the uh, uh, Billy the Bum Sersky Challenge here. Um, yeah, we had a great race getting second in the doubles, and uh, yeah, just awesome being out in such classic weather. And what a great way to start the weekend on uh, on a Friday night. All right. Oh, tough race, flat conditions, my kind of conditions. Um, a lot of the boys are away, the Australian World Cup tomorrow and the Jack Challenge tomorrow. So uh, I was pretty lucky last week, seventh, this week first. It's a big jump up. Um, I'm looking forward to a good contest next week for the boys. Like, I mean, the money that Varsity College are putting behind it, you can see the numbers down here, the kids down here, the families down here. It's fantastic for the sport, it's growing the sport uh, hugely. Billy the Bums every year, part of the deal. Uh, final prize, I'm going to put on a really good show down there. Um, and we can just say thank you to them, thanks to the sponsors for putting on a really good show for us to come down and enjoy ourselves on Friday night.